In this video, we're going to back up our configuration, our greetings, and all of our voicemail messages on our Cisco Unity Connection server. So first, let's go to Navigation, and let's go to the Disaster Recovery System. Next, let's log in with our credentials. Now let's go to Backup, and let's add a new backup device. For our backup device name, we will call that route hub dash backup. And for our backup type, it will be a network directory, which is secure FTP. So we have a server, which is 10.67.78.3, that's running a program called free FTPD that supports FTP and secure FTP. So we have confirmed that secure FTP is running on our server. Also on this particular server, we have added one user account called RouteHub. So with all that information and confirming that the secure FTP service is running on one of our servers, we can now input this into our backup device type. So it will be network directory. The server name will be the IP address of our server, which is 10.67.78.3. The path name will be root. And the directory will be CUC for Cisco Unique Connection DR for disaster recovery. Here is what that folder looks like on our server. Currently it's empty. So when we finish our backup, there'll be a lot of files here with all of our data, our configuration, greetings, and even our voicemail messages. So let's minimize that. For the username, that will be route hub that you saw added to the system. And the password is Cisco123. Let's go ahead and save. So now we have added our backup device successfully. Now let's go back to backup and we can do either a scheduler or a manual backup. For the first time, it's always best to do a manual backup to confirm that the process completes successfully. So let's go to manual backup and we will first select what is our backup device. We could have multiple devices added to the system. So let's select our route hub backup. Now it's specifying what we want to backup. Well, we want to back up everything. We want to back up the database, the configuration, our greetings, and all of our voicemail messages. So once we have selected all of our features that we want to have backed up, we can now simply click on Start Backup. So now it will start going through the process of doing the actual backup, which we can see here under Status. And this can take a while, depending on the number of users that are added the number of greetings, and the number of voicemail messages. So we will wait until the backup process completes. And now we see that our backup has completed successfully without any errors. And we can see that under status. So basically, if I go back to my server, my, my secure FTP server, and take a look at that folder, I will now see a lot of files listed here. We have a very small environment. But the backups, depending on the size of your environment, can be pretty large and can take some time. So from here, we have confirmed that our backup has been completed. So doing a restore very quickly is very simple. So simply, from the main page for Disaster Recovery System, we can simply just go to Restore and go to Restore Wizard. From there, we can specify again what is our backup device, which is Route Hub Backup. Then we can select the actual backup. We could have multiple backups listed. So in our case, there should only be one listed. So we can click on that and say next. Then from there, it will go through the process of what we want to restore. Do we want to restore our database, our configuration, the greetings, maybe even the voicemail messages from the actual mail store. Then from there, we can select what we want and go through the actual restore process. So doing a backup and a restore for Cisco Unity Connection is very easy and also recommend it.